uh, learning for sustainability is incredibly important um, for increasing that knowledge about the environment because of course we are in a bit of a climate crisis right now and the responsibility of improving it and making the world a better place is ultimately up to us, the younger generation moving up. So that will, that's going to start in schools. We need to gain the knowledge to fight this climate crisis and ultimately make our world a better place. Sustainability is probably the biggest issue that the world is facing right now. No area, no country, no community is going to be uh, immune from it. So we felt we had a, a deep responsibility to work with our communities, to educate those individuals within the communities in order to empower them to take individual action, but also community action to do what they can to create more sustainable communities, which then lead to a more sustainable world. Yeah, it is definitely something I care about. I feel like if we don't act on it, it, will, it won't be good in the next few years, and now's the perfect time to start acting about that. I think that all teachers should have a passion about it because in the, the era that we're heading into with the issues with climate change, stopping that's going to have to start with educating children. So all teachers should be passionate about it and really be conveying that passion then to the children they're teaching so that the whole next generation shares that passion with them. In the climate that we're in just now and the crisis that we're facing, we have to protect our pollinators. And I think starting off with our school children and filtering that right through um, their education um, is a great way for us as a society to try and protect our pollinators. Without our pollinators, we have no food security. Well, I think that bees are very important for the environment because uh, it's uh, good for everyone, really. And it's really important that we keep the honey. Um, the reason I decided to get involved in this beekeeping project is because my mother studied ephthalmology, so I decided I should join beekeeping. So your SDGs are absolutely linked to your care, care fairness, trust, respect, um, respect of your planet and the other people that you share with. So really you know our values are really linked to the sustainable development goals um, I think because of that it's been really easy to fit the sustainable de development goals into the curriculum because it is part of our school community it is part of our ethos that we are wanting to promote these different goals. We now teach sustainability it's on the timetable um, S1s and S2s get a double period a week for it where they're solely in for sustainability learning so the S1s at the moment are touching on each of the 17 goals. Well, I've been involved in um, making eco bottles for the school so that people don't use disposable plastic bottles. We've also done a couple of um, garden competitions where we make like an eco garden to try and collect water from rainfall. For me, when we looked at the values as a school, it was clear that actually, for me, I wanted the whole picture of LFS being the umbrella for everything that we did because it sits so beautifully with all our visions and our values. And then when we re-evaluated as a school what we wanted our curriculum to look like, it just fitted the purpose brilliantly. We want to um, make sure that there's, also, there's loads of gender equality and um, in all the countries in the world. And we've been learning a little bit about women in STEM and we want to make sure that there's an, an equal amount of women and, me, and men in working in STEM um, careers. And we see that every day with the children here where they are enabled to do something because of the way that we approach LFS across our curriculum because it is so inclusive. But the other thing that's really struck me about the children here is that it's almost like we're helping them and we're scaffolding them to become agents of change. Because, you know, our children have such a voice here in Dunblane. The reason why we're learning about children's rights is to make sure everyone knows that they have a voice to speak up and tell everyone their ideas. And if they don't have that voice, then they can't share their ideas and then maybe their idea might actually end up changing the world. Glasgow's uh, hosting the COP26 um, all these people from across the world are coming to Scotland. Our children are three and four and five, but a big part of the voices that will be in this World Conference this time are children and young people. 
and these children at three and four and five, they have that same empowerment, that same understanding of what the issues are at that very early stage. We use our growing, our own growing area as well, and we have had herb shops where we sold um, the produce to the parents. We've um, give away our potatoes. They, we gave every child and parent a window box with um, compost, seeds. We live surrounded by, by tenements and high-rise flats and our children don't often have such a, a great area like this to get out and play um, and learn. And I mean, we have a high percentage of families who English is not their first language and we take them out in learning adventures and they get to see bits of Glasgow they didn't know existed. A lot of our focus has been on um, climate activism courses and it's about upskilling communities as well, not just providing them information on what is climate change and how does it impact you, but what can you actually do to make a difference. Um, so we've been focusing on upskilling with things like graphic design, public speaking um, and looking at what yeah, local communities can do. The Disruptors event, as a parent, made me start thinking about how we can change things, um, right from how we make our packed lunches, about what plastic products we're putting in, and right into things at home. Um, myself, I stopped using daily contact lenses. So it really did literally disrupt the way we started doing things. I feel great to be a disruptor because I feel proud of how many people I've, I've helped to... Um, to start making an impact on climate change, to make a positive impact to the planet for our future generations. We have um, made bamboo toothbrushes to stop them using the plastic ones because they're really bad for the environment because they, they're plastic and they won't rot down in the sea. My older one's at high school now, but that final year, when, which was when the disruptor started, his self-confidence was just unbelievable. Um, and both of them find just so engaged with learning because they're learning about things that actually have meaning. Just the whole sort of the global citizenship as well, you know, understanding because we are a small rural village and, and they're just very aware of the whole, you know, that the whole world is joined up and what we do has an impact. Sustainability and, and bringing communities together, it's just about talking to people, get out there and find out what they know, what they don't know, what they want to do, what their interests are um, and go from there. Just start doing it. Start with something small. Start with something you're passionate about. Focus on that one thing and try and make a difference in your own little circle. Definitely start it. You will, the teachers will enjoy it and the kids will enjoy it. I've got inspiration and hope that we can do stuff if everyone kind of impacts. Um, so we just all need to do this.